Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to give you the tea on this hairdo. Okay, so quarantine has got us doing a lot of things that we would never really do. And this is one of them. I don't really like doing my own hair. Um, besides when it comes to like making a wig, which I don't actually do on my head. It's kind of like just me doing on a wig head. Nonetheless, I went down a YouTube rabbit hole where I ended up in a whole passion twist community and I figured, okay, this would be a very fun activity for me to try and do while I'm in quarantine. And it is actually not that bad. So if you're interested in doing this on yourself, please keep watching. So I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons of this hairstyle before I tell you how to really get into it, okay? So the pros is that it is fairly cost efficient. So I was able to get six packs of this uh, wet and wavy passion twist hair from Amazon for about $38. So I will make sure that I link the one I bought in the description box down below. It was especially um, a good price because not only did it come with six packs of hair, it also came with a crochet needle and um, some decorative beads. Okay, so it is from Dorsani. It is specifically for their passion twist. Did I use six packs of hair? No, because I wanted to keep it very light. So I ended up only using three packs of hair. So if I decide to ever do, do this um, hairdo in the future, I still have enough hair to do it again. Is it common for people to only use three packs? Based off of my YouTube rabbit hole, no but I'm gonna tell you why I only use three packs in a little bit. Back to the pros, it's very light, okay? So this hair is extremely light. It almost feels like I don't have anything on my head because it is so light, which I love. Um, I had just recently started getting box braids again and they were so heavy. I felt like my neck was like, <laughs> I can't have my head heavier than what my neck can bear. And I could tell you for sure, this hair is super duper oper light. Um, and, it's, and it's got a nice bounce, you know, the little spring. A pro to doing the passion twist is that pretty much anybody can do it. I am able to braid, which serves to be an advantage for me, but braiding skill is not necessary with this particular look. It's literally just about following the method and just doing it to your liking. Um, it this particular hairstyle allows for such flexibility in its outcome because it is more of a free spirited look for example um i have some twists here that are larger than what i probably would like and actually look kind of crazy but i'm bohemian hippie chic so it is okay <laughs> now a con to this hairstyle is that it is time consuming um it took me give or take six six and a half hours i did three hours one night woke up and finished um do you want to sit there and do your own hair for six hours probably not but it is going to be the same amount of time whether you pay for it or whether you do it yourself so you might as well do it yourself is this a hairstyle i will pay for absolutely not i don't think it takes much skill to do this and I feel like with anything, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. When I decide to do it the next time, there are certain things that I saw that I did this time that I don't like that I would just correct later. Um, the process and the um, the process in doing this hairstyle was so simple that I don't think it's worth the money of paying somebody to do it when you could really just do it yourself. Um, and that's all thanks to YouTube University and like YouTube being a wonderful resource to help you figure it all out now before we really get into what you need to do I would love if you like this video if you like this hair and also be sure to subscribe to my channel thanks okay so achieving this look is super simple like I said and to do this I chose a non rubber band method because we all know that rubber bands can produce breakage and I've come so far in my hair journey that I did not want to end it all because of a rubber band so what I did instead was that I simply created my parts and braided just about half of an inch to an inch for each braid in that part so as you see in this video I've now at the top of my head and I sectioned off you know my head based on how I want the hair to fall and so I've 
sectioned it and parted it to where each of these are now individual braids, okay? So next, you take your crochet needle open, be sure that it's open, slide it above the braid closest to the part. Now I chose to do it this way because once you pull the hair through, it creates the knot right at the part as if it was like, you know, being fed in. And I just like that look a little better. So once you have the needle crochet closest to the part, you then want to take a strand of the hair and hook it onto the crochet needle. I purposely used just one single strand because I didn't want the hair to look bulky, particularly in the top. Now for some of the braids in the back, they do have two strands because the back can always just be more fuller. But as I made my way up to the top and particularly around my hairline, I used only one single strand of the hair. So you put a single strand on the hair, close the crochet needle and pull it through so that you make it to the other side of the braid. Once you make it to the other side of the braid, that open loop, you're going to pull all the hair, including your braided, your natural braided hair section through the hole and maybe back around one more time just to secure it. Now I did the double pull only for, um, for all of the braids except for the ones around my hairline. I didn't want the extra tension on my hairline. Once I created that knot, I pull it to kind of, you know, secure it in place. And then some, most of the time, <laughs> I braided the braid a little too long. So I have to unravel it a little bit so that I have enough, um, not too much braid to free hair ratio, if that makes sense. Um, and then you just simply twist. I was using Eco Style Gel as um, kind of my manipulative as I was twisting my hair down just to provide some moisture to my hair. Around my hairline, I used some Cantu pomade to kind of slick it all down. I don't have baby hair and all that other stuff, so I did have to put some got to be glue on this little section right here because my hair does not respond well to Eco Style um, as far as being a slick hole type, and I didn't have any edge control or like, you know, some type of beeswax. So I had to do what I had to do. Um, and so yeah, I'll show it to you again. So what you do is you slide the crochet needle above the braid closest to the part, attach the hair, pull it back through, loop it by creating it and securing it, unravel the braid just a little bit if you've braided too far down, and twist. Simple, 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 yet so effective. Um, in quarantine, this has been a perfect hairstyle because it just really takes my mind off of having to worry about what I look like when FedEx and UPS and USPS are delivering my packages. <laughs> um, because yes, I'm staying in the house and yes, I'm social distancing. So I can look at least halfway presentable when I'm doing those things. Um, and not having to worry about where's my wig and all that other stuff. Um, this has been a great alternative to that and I'm so glad that I decided to just experiment and try it because you never know what can happen from a little bit of experimentation. If this tutorial has been helpful for you, be sure to thumbs it up. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I appreciate you.